everybody, it's Mana, and I'm back with another Inkvent calendar unboxing or reveal. Um, today we're doing day 14, and um, it is another After Dark. It's a true After Dark, I have to say, because it's like 2 in the morning. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm awake, I felt inspired, and I'm gonna go ahead and record the next video. I still have to edit day 13. Um, so this will end up in the editing queue, but, um, yeah, it's, you know, I'll, I'll have a bunch of videos up this weekend, I guess. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, this is kind of... Haha. -ha. So let's see what we got here. Oops. That's the first one I've broken. Okay. We have... We have Red Robin, which is a standard. Okay, cool. Um, I have a couple different pens to put this in. I grabbed a uh, another Lamy All Star, where I have my Pilot Prera. Um, yeah, I think I might use the Pilot Prera because. That'll be fun. And I actually just had a red ink in this pen, so, um, or I'm guessing it's red. I don't know what color it actually is, but, uh, yeah. So, here's yesterday's. Oh, let's, let's show. Hi, Pearl! Here's that red sheen on that blue. It's pretty. It kind of looks like it's, like, the base for this one, but the blues are different, so maybe not. No, this is a definitely darker, a different darker blue. So never mind. Forget that I said that. Um, I'm gonna. What is this called? Red Robin. Red Robin. I'm surprised they were able to call it Red Robin because of um, the restaurant. Maybe because they're British. It's an English ink. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah, so these are the pens that I have. These two nibs are actually, actually no, this is a fine nib. This is a medium nib. This is an un, an unmarked nib. I don't actually know what nib size it is. Um, I remember that I bought an, uh, a, an unmarked nib because it was on the bottom shelf, but I don't remember what size it was. And then I have a Twisby because I figure we'll have a shimmer. We'll probably have another shimmer ink one of these days and... I like shimmers in my Twisbees, but, um, yeah, I think I'm going to use the Prera for this. I just, I'm feeling the Prera, so let's go ahead. We'll move this out of the way for now. I'm glad to have, like, a red. I mean, I don't know how red it is, but I'm glad to see a red. Um, where's my coloring card? Get all my supplies straightened out. Got that, and I got that over there, and I need a background to just do some swatches on. I'm going to open this real fast. Hi, Pearl. Pearl was sleeping, but now that I'm out and about talking out here, she's very interested in what I'm doing and wants me to play with her. So one thing I really don't like about this calendar is I really hate having to open the plastic on these. I'm glad that it's there because, excuse me, hopefully it stops things from leaking, but man, they could have like put a perforation there or something to make it easier to open, but also it's a lot of extra plastic. Um, yeah, this looks like a really pretty, I don't know, maybe like a brick red sort of color. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm going to fill the pen. I like being able to write with the pen versus the dip pen. I know doing the dip pen on all the cards makes it more universal, but meh, I don't care. I also don't care about getting a full fill because I have 25 freaking pens inked. In addition to all the other pens that I had inked just in, just because. 
This is a pilot prayer. It's the transparent version, the transparent pink version. Um, yeah, it's an excellent pen. I have a Con 50 uh, um, converter in there, which is rare. You can't find them anymore, hardly. Um, but yeah, this pen came with it, so I keep it with it. All right, ink vent. This is a standard. And this is um, 2021. And this is number 14. Die mine. Hi, Robin. An interesting, like, orangey red sort of ink. It seems kind of, um, it's not it's not super saturated from what I can tell. We'll see what what it does when it swatches. Oh 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 oh! I just blurped it all over my hand. We'll see what it looks like. It looks like that on my hand. Okay, well maybe that like saturated the feet a little bit. Also, it's on that uh, coloring card, which is different paper, so. Um, where's my paintbrush? In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I wet the paintbrush when I do these inks because I don't want, um, I don't want the bristles to soak up all of the ink and then not paint it on the card. So I kind of, I swish it in water and then, um, and then dry it off, but that way it doesn't, soak up all the ink. So this is like a bricky orangey red. Definitely reminiscent of uh, the like red chest on a robin. Do you hear that smacking in the background? That's Pearl eating. She's eating very loudly. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's not like a red, red, true red, but it's pretty. I don't know how I feel about it out of the, out of the gate, but it's pretty. Door spots now. Here is what that uh, ruby blues looks like on the Marmon paper. I love the color of that sheen. It's like this violet, burgundy sort of color. It's very pretty. Um, my pen. This is a medium nib. The Pilot Prayer mediums write more like a fine because it's a Japanese, um, a Japanese nibs which are known for being finer. I was gonna say smaller. I'm like smaller isn't actually the right word. Oh, I just rinsed my brush out in the water. Whatever. looks like so we'll let it do its its thing and where's my syringe here it is oh 
Oh god, okay. Well, that went all over the place. definitely got a big splat and oh I lost it oh I think it's yeah gg me gg it soaked up the whole rest of the notebook all right well we'll see what this looks like after it's dry <laughs> All right, on to the writing sample. Um, the pen, the text, camera. out. Here's our text. I don't know how I feel about this one. It seems kind of dry in the writing, but it could be the nib. I mean, it could be the pen. Excuse me, but I don't, I don't know. It seemed, I don't know. I didn't enjoy writing with it and I'm not sure if it's the ink or if it's the pen. Um, board. I like got ink all over the place. <laughs> all right. Do our little swatch at the bottom. The color really closely kind of matches the lines on this Hobonichi. It's not like an exact match, but it's close enough. See, it's drying really fast, but it's washed down nicely, so I don't know. A warm orangey red, a brown. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel strongly either way about it. It's a nice ink. Um. It has a really nice shading on it. I like the shading, and this is even out of this um, Japanese medium nib. Yeah, it has really nice shading. I like that aspect of it. I don't, I don't think the color is for me so much, but I could see myself also just deciding one day, oh, I need a orangey red. Let me get that red robin out of the out of the bin. Um, I'm definitely not getting a full bottle of it, but it's not a terrible color. Let's go ahead and um, look at our swatch card. 
I love how it looks on the swatch card if I can get it without making a mess. Um, yeah, I don't like the text, but I like the actual like swatch part. Um, and then I have two chromatographies. I have the one from yesterday, which is the Ruby Blues. Um, it's basically a light blue with um, some darker blue and then a dark line at the end. And then um, this is Red Robin, which looks like it'll probably fade away. But um, you see the little line there. And then it goes up like this peachy color to this red color to this darker red color. Not bad, not bad. The splat is still drying on this one, but um, yeah, I think we're going to be here for a minute on this one. Because <laughs> I got way too much ink on there. But anyway, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will um, see you again very soon with day 15. I have no idea what that will entail. Um, today is officially, well, because it was like 2 a.m., it's officially now the 18th, so I'm still four days behind, but um, plan on catching up very soon. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this ink in the comments. Um, how are you liking the ink vent so far? Like, do you like everything? Are you considering doing it next year? Um, did you miss out on it last year? Decided to do it this year? Are you feeling where are you, what are where are you so far? I know we're I know we're nowhere near done, but what are you thinking about the ink flight so far? Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. I it means so much to me, and I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I will talk to you again very soon. Take care.